guys, Mopar for Life here, June 25th, 2020. I am seated right here with my newly acquired fridge. This is the GDM-10. I actually picked this up from a neighbor's house. Uh, they threw it out on the street right before trash day, said it was no longer working. But for me, finding a piece of junk like this is obviously just another treasure. So I decided to go grab my truck, pick it up, throw it in the back, bring it back home, slide it into the garage, start it up to see what was wrong with it. So with that being said, I'll give you a close up of what this looks like. I cleaned it up quite a bit as there was an exploded soda inside of it. Uh, looks pretty good now so when i plugged it in you know i don't know much about refrigerators um but i do know a little bit about you know electronics and stuff like that but uh when i first plugged this in i noticed that the condenser came on and knowing for refrigerators and stuff like that can the condensing unit can be a very expensive part four hundred dollars you know at least for this one right here knowing that i was like okay so we're in business i at least know the condensing unit comes on makes a buzzing sound a little click sounds like it wants to keep going and it does so i also noticed that the, the unit was also not you know cooling down it was hovering around 70 degrees uh fahrenheit and i was verifying that using my handy dandy OEM uh, laser uh, thermometer right here and uh, it was hovering around 70 degrees like I said so I went down opened up the bottom piece here started cleaning it out cleaned out the coils coils were full of dust uh, a little bit of debris, vacuumed the whole inside out, pulled off the back there on the unit, and I'll take you around to the back to show you what it looks like. Um, took out the pan here. I didn't clean out the pan yet, but uh, this is the back right here. And as I show you here, this is the condenser right here, this black kind of tank cylinder looking thing here. Uh, it was running, it was good to go. Uh, one thing I did notice though was that the fan and I'll show you the fan right now if I can okay the fan is right in the back in this area right here if you look past this uh, styrofoam um, hose and look towards the back you'll see the fan fan was not moving simultaneously uh, on startup with the condensing unit and uh, After doing some reading and some research and stuff like that. I know The fan is supposed to be on during startup uh, and anytime the condensing unit turns on uh, to cool the unit so After doing a little bit of more a little more research, you know um, someone told me to go ahead and and uh, give the fan a push, a little tug, to see if you can kickstart it. I guess uh, something with the starting capacitor, and that's this piece right here. This piece right here that is on the condensing unit could be failing or all together just have failed. But uh, the job of that is to pretty much provide the torque to get that electric motor going and uh, if it's not working properly obviously the motor is not going to kick on and the fan is not going to run when the condensing unit is on so what I'm gonna do right now and show you how I verified that like I said I just gave it a tug I'm gonna turn my unit on and you're gonna hear a little hum and a click and that's basically from the um, uh, Denser coming on so I'll go ahead and uh, I'll do that right now 
so you know what I'm talking about. And take a look back there. Take a look back there in this area right here. You're going to see that fan. It's not going to come on. So. So you hear the condenser pop on. Fan in the black. The fan in the back is not rotating at all when it should be. So I don't think the capacitor, the starting capacitor fired it at all. So I'm gonna give it a little bit of a push to see if I can kickstart it per se. And there we go. So what that tells me is it's either something in the wiring that connects to the motor or the starter capacitor is not working altogether. Now, obviously I've had this running for some time now throughout the day by kickstarting it. It's when I have to turn off the fridge altogether, pretty much unplug it from the wall, is when I have to kickstart that motor again. So, I'm guessing if I don't ever unplug the fridge from the wall, that this motor will keep running, so as long as the capacitor, I mean the condenser is running. So, um, like I said, I've had it running for some time now. Uh, the unit, the refrigerating unit, has went down all the way to about 40 degrees. That's where I got it at right now over the last couple hours because it takes some time to cool down. But uh, I am going to order up the um, starter capacitor for this. And if you look, um, right before you I'm gonna show you the price of it I think I found it for and that's the piece uh, and, I'll, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll get up close to it so you pretty much know what the where the capacitor is and it's right to the right of the condenser on the GDM 10 and it's this piece right here as I point to it um, it comes as a kit. I tried to look for the capacitor itself. I'm sure it's out there. I just got to do more research. But uh, right now, I'm seeing it as a kit. That's why it's so expensive. But uh, nonetheless, I'm going to replace that part. And then maybe maybe on, later on down the road, I'll do an update video on see if it actually fixed the unit. I assume, and I'm pretty sure that that's going to fix it if not it's probably a wiring problem but uh i, I doubt it uh, since this unit in the back looks pretty clean it doesn't look jerry rigged or anything like that so um everything is good to go now i'll give you a temperature check and um show you what it's reading on the inside of the fridge but um yeah so this is pretty much a come up for me <laughs> I mean, I put nothing into this fridge at all. It was thrown on the curb. Like I said, somebody else's junk became my treasure. All I did was clean it up just a little bit, did a little bit of research online, verified a few procedures, figured out that it could possibly be the starter capacitor based on me having to, you know, kickstart that fan motor. And like I said, I will order up that part, replace it, and then maybe later on down the road, I will give you an update, or maybe I just might mark it in the comments section saying, hey, in fact, it was that piece, but uh, I am so happy for this. I might end up selling this because I actually have another fridge right here that I picked up a while ago and fixed, um, but like I said, this is all new to me, so I will check the temperature for you right now show you what I got in here remember I was getting 70 degrees nice and cold now has a light with it light does not work unfortunately but that's okay least of my problems 
and I point it down there at the bottom, 51 degrees, not bad. So a 20 degree difference, I'll come back and I'll check the temperature again in a half an hour and also post that to the video. But uh, take your time, verify to see, you know, uh, what I showed you to see if the starter capacitor could possibly be the um, ultimate issue with your, what is this? Uh, like I said, it's a GDM-10 refrigerator made by the True Manufacturing Company. This has been Mopar for Life saying, stay safe. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace out. Phyllis. Uh-huh. For $250. Uh-huh. What? Ow. $250 for this.